Aditya and today I will be talking about building a base on the moon. Imagine looking up at the night sky and seeing the moon illuminated by city lights. You may think that it is impossible, but the truth is we can start building a moon base now. Space agencies have estimated that a small moon base reliant on Earth will cost between 20 and 40 billion dollars over a time span of just over a decade. The moon is a wonderful sandbox for scientists to work and experiment. It may serve to be a hub for exploration to the rest of the solar system. Once we build a base on the moon, the possibilities are endless. How can we build a moon base? Our first base must be made of lightweight materials such as aluminium or could be just made of inflatable domes and shelters. They have to be built or deployed in caves or craters as this will help protect from cosmic radiation and meteorite impacts. Soon, the moon will be populated by people selling rocket fuel, rare minerals like platinum and titanium found in impact craters, and even the pr promising helium-3, which is an isotope of helium that could be used in nuclear fusion reactors once the technology is developed. We can foresee the moon becoming self-sufficient through imports and exports to and from Earth. What are the challenges we need to overcome in building a moon base? A moon day lasts as long as a month on Earth and there is a difference of about 300 degrees between sunlight and shade. There is no atmosphere to protect us from cosmic radiation and meteorites and lunar dust is very fine and can get into electronics. It is also very good at oxidizing things and can severely damage organic tissues. However, in spite of the challenges, building a moon base is still very advantageous. I am proud of India for sending its Chandrayaan mission to establish the first steps of researching about the moon and leading to the construction of the moon base. I also wish ISRO good luck for their next mission, the Chandrayaan 2. Thank you.